hi everyone and my name is Wilfred and in today's video I'm going to show you on how to download um, the survey data from National Health and Innovation Examination Survey and at the same time show you on how to match this data in Stata. So if you are new to this uh, channel kindly consider to subscribe and let us follow this until the end. Thank you. Okay the first thing you need to do is um, uh, to uh, to just open the um, you uh, you open the site the website uh, for this um, uh, national health and nutrition examination survey uh, using this uh, URL you'll be able to see that and uh, from there you'll be able to see different data sets in different periods so you can see we have from the year 1999 all the way the latest one is 2003 uh, August 2003 so in most cases uh, unlike to World Bank, whereby if you want to work with the, a time series data or if you want to work with a, a bundle data, in like in uh, World Bank, you only said if you want the data from 1999 to, uh, to all the way to the 2003, you'll be able to do that. Let us say we want to uh, use a, 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 a like a variable like GDP, so you only need select the the the, the indicator. And select the time period let us say 1999 to 2003 and you just uh, download just like that so that you'll be able to have a single file which all you are uh, like the data based on the time period that you uh, you want you want to have eh? but and um, to this now this uh, national health um and nutrition examination survey for this one the data are in different time period so you have to, if you want to work with all the data so you have to download them and now match them based on the maybe the software that you want to use so in this case we are using the year 2005-2006 and now we we are working on a medical condition eh? data so what i'll do i'll just open that 2005-2006 go direct to demographics just like that demographics then uh, download this you've come here you have demographic data just click there to download so depending on your on how uh, fast your internet is it will just take uh, just uh, less than a minute to to complete it so let us go back so that one is still downloading and the same same here or the same, same time period i uh, will go to now questionnaire data so just click there now uh, let us say we are working on um, uh, on uh, what on uh, diabetes eh? diabetes data so you, you can see we have diabetes here so you just go to this and are not as well just diabetes just like that okay perfect so perfect so we have it so you did this already we have done already the two files demographic and uh, diabetes uh, file so what to do now let us move to stata so you open your stata and now go to file now import then now you import such you can see now okay i'm using uh, the latest version stata version which is uh, stata 18. now comparing uh, to the other versions like 14 and so on uh we have like such exports we don't have the fashions but you can see this one as the fashions for instance if you you are using the latest fashion uh stata like sata 18 and you click this fashion age so when you try to browse that data you see we don't have the data to the like uh, the storage was on desktop so it's not there so if you are using the latest version of stata so you where you have two options of uh, export importing the ex uh, export uh, files so you know you need to use version 5 this is the the oldest version eh? so you need to use this click there and i import such a uh, transport file then browse the file so you go to desktop and now you see we have them here so we start with this one eh, which is diabetes uh, file then you open then just uh, press OK. So immediately you do that, you'll be able to see on my variable here, we have um, all the what? All the required variables. In this case, as you can see, we have the six variables uh, and so on. So what do we do next? Uh, we have the six observations and 9,822 uh, observations. So in this case, 
when we do the matching of uh, data there are some like we need to have in these two vines we need to have maybe a certain variable which is common in both cases so in both cases so like in this case we have this uh, sequence n so you can see here respondent sequence number now this respondent sequence number is actually like what we call the it's, it's it is in this case is what we call the id the id variable so now at this point you can just go to save us we want to save this data as a data file then call it a uh, diabetes let me call it diabetes just like that eh? then i just save so in this case we have saved this data now as a starter data file which is diabetes.dga now let us move let us now import the other one the demographic file so go to that import uh, this version 5 export then browse then the data is now demographic data then just click open after that just press ok so you see now we have the demographic variables here as you can see if you want to see like in descriptions you'll be able to see all the variable or the demographic variable in this case like the data is number a gender age of screening adjusted exam age in months race ethnicity country of birth and so on so all about characters about the respondents and so on so we have it now in in our what in our in our data file in our stata stata so what do you do next uh we can now bring in the other the that file so so in at, the, at this moment we have uh, this demographic uh, dem demographic file in our memory so what do we do we go to file now we want to uh, to do what to match this uh, this data so we go to data go to combine data set then match two data sets just like that eh? so in this case since we are using this sequence uh, um, the, 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 this uh, first variable here so we can take this one to one on key variable then um key variable match variables in both cases so you select that so this one sequence number exponent sequence number so that's the only that the, the only variable we have in both cases that you can use to uh, match this to do this uh, two data sets then file name of data set on the disk now we want to bring in uh, the diabetes data so we go to browse then now you can see the one that uh, we had already imported export but we saved it as a data set so we just click there open so we are bringing in uh, to stata then after you do that just press ok perfect so now you can see uh, like uh, from master file using so not match 526 from master 526 uh match so you can see we have uh, 9822 so this now there's the command for matching the the, the, the the file then after which so at this point now you have uh, matched your data set so you can uh, if you can go to this you can just describe like that now you can be able to see extra variables that uh, belong to what uh, that belong to this uh, uh, diabetes eh? uh, that belong to diabetes uh, variable so after this now you can now decide to save this data again as a uh, go to save us then save it as a match matched file just like that then you press just click there save so that's so that's up to this point uh you have already the, the do uh, the two data files you can see now we have diabetes affected eyes and so on eh? so we are now we have this uh, information from both two two files and uh, the, what the demographic one so at this point now you can move on to to data cleaning and any data analysis that you want to do so for instance if you want to check if there are missing values in the data you can watch on my previous videos on how to use uh, this command mdesk uh, for instance checking the missing values if there are missing values in uh, in our data and so on so as you can see we have got a lot of um, and like the total you can see is actually 10,342 observations 
but as you can see in other variables in this case we have uh, missing values so these are now the things that you need to do to this data now based on your uh, your objective or your analysis objective so that you can be able to to meet them i think up to this moment i think you have run on now to download that data to download the data from this uh, website uh, and match it in uh, stata and that was uh, the objective of this video and i hope you have learned something thank you